Tokyo Ecclesio from Fosca by Verdi. No small houses really are doing fall staff, so you know you have to be thinking about. And all singers, we always have to be thinking about what's going to what's going to carry. And if we have a fully balanced tone, there's a much better chance of carrying out to the orchestra than if we have just the chiaro, right? Um, and some of those ensembles, you're singing with a lot of people with, with big voices, so you have to put put out some sound. When you, have you done any of the scenes from this from this opera yet? Not yet. When, when you do, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. not, not one, but two Verdi baritones on stage with you, and then goes on from there. So you, know, you have to, if you're going to be heard, you have to you know, be smart about how you're doing it. So I went back there to just see, just get a better picture of how much of that was projecting, which it's really projecting really, really well. A um, couple of things.
things to mess with today. Let's talk about body alignment. So I know it feels like it, it, you're gonna get stuck if you're lining up right, but you're not. Yeah, I promise you're not. Because um, if you're doing this, let me get like this for a second. Try to lift your soft palate. It's not so easy, is it? It's a little rough. You're not gonna be able to get a good breath. It's gonna be tricky to, to project, you know, plus then you're singing into the floor. The audience is not there, <laughs> they're over there. So you wanna make sure you're still up and out. So sometimes I feel like you're getting a little, you know, going this way and your air is not finding its way to the, to the palate all the time. Now as a singer, I'm not saying you have to stand there in that position all the time, but you do have to pick and choose. You know, there are moments where yeah. you're gonna get yourself, you know, lined up and that's gonna be that. Um, when you watch ice skating competitions, everybody, you know, they're, they're skating around and doing all this stuff and then you see like a straight line and you know that like a triple axel or something is coming after that. So that they're getting themselves like all, all organized for that. So right before things like the last I know, you wanna get yourself, get yourself set up. Um, there's, I think there's a video on my website of me singing the Dulcissime from Carmina. And that's one of those moments that you're, you're gonna get yourself <laughs> lined up right because you only have one chance <laughs> and it needs to be right. So, um, so in some of these key moments, if you could calm the body a little bit, that would be great. Um, I also want you to watch out for accidental corrimento. And, when I'm, and there, it's not wrong to have corrimento in this style, obviously. But when I, what I mean by, I'm gonna take this off for a second. What I mean by accidental corrimento is that corrimento that just happens because you don't really have the space for the note. So if you're going, if you're doing that, that's because there's no, right? You want to think that you're really staying with it. And if I want, want to intentionally pour it, then I'm there. But I'm not just kind of falling off the notes because I don't have, so I think sometimes you're just kind of falling around those notes and you know, I might be on some of the rest of about that today too. Um, it's a common singer thing. So, you know, go ahead and stay with the note as long. And Cordifato should always be fast and late, always, especially in Italian. Don't, don't go crazy with too much, too much, um, length in your portamento. Let's start it again. What I love that I saw was I saw a lot more rounding of the vowels. Like, it was so great. And you can go further with that. And I will get on you now about that. So let's just start it again. Oh, also, last thing. There is a recit that goes with this. So if you audition with this, it's starting, it starts a few pages back. Um, mm -hmm. Shannon can help you. It's the Silfi, Elfi, Torri, Di, Sirene, that little section. Mm -hmm. And then you cut over to the aria. It's an easier way to start than it's right on Sofia. So we can I saw you start to take the breath and you went like this and that's not going to be great. So yeah. first line, you know, plus you are the queen of the fairies, yes? You're not, you're not begging them to come. You're like, come, come be with me, yes? Your big moment to be, they let, the elder ladies let you be the queen. So, you know, you've been trailing around them all night and now's your chance. Here we go. <laughs> like that you want to ask yourself what what am I getting out of that like what is what is that doing for you nothing I, I mean is are you communicating something with that is it nervous energy what what is it what what's the reason you want to do that do you think um I think probably nervous energy is part of it okay um I don't know I don't know it's good <laughs> that I'm thinking about it <laughs> yeah I mean spend some time thinking about it because that, that, that's that's helping you, I don't think. So just no. Like, trust that, you know, it's hard, hard, hard to just stand there. It really is. But in the beginning of the piece, I think you want to. Make them come to you. You don't want to be like, right. please come, come listen to me. Yeah. You know? Queen of the fairies. Here we go. Of all those E's, which one's the highest one? The last one. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, now, now what you have to do is spin 
knows that air up through those notes, so they're not, you're not stuck. It's not, so you're, so you're getting set up for what you're going to do on the A, which I'm going to get on you about that too, because I want some spin on that. All right, one more time. So just keep feeding your air on these high notes. one of these in every phrase that it has to feel like it could spin even if it doesn't. All right, let's go right there. It's score of the in there and he's a truck driver trying to sing and the teacher's like you must imagine that you're going to projectile vomit and I was like yes <laughs> because you want to think oh. so you're talking here and then you know put do you want are you comfortable putting it on me um, I'm using that to make that space right yeah. try one more time so play with that that's fine once you get that that lid off you just play with what you want to do with that high note no need to be afraid that's the idea. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. So then you yeah. play with it and you coach it and you figure out exactly the right timing for it because you don't want it to just be kind of whenever you feel like it. Let's go on. <laughs> Bye. 
la luna, re, not luna, luna. Stay where you were. Richard's practicing her going, stay where you were, you had it. And the luna, when you get to the A, don't go crazy. Let's go dal la luna. <laughs>
then the next one. So, 
help yourself out with, with that. Because that, that it's the devil in my voice. I, can, I have to change yeah. it to OE all the time. I don't like it either. I remember working on Exultate with Richard once, and I came in, I'm like, Exultate! He's like, Lynn, <laughs> you tell your girls to sing OE, why are you singing X? And then when I sang OE, Exultate! Totally different, right? Mm -hmm. So you get up on this, Chief some OE. Do you want to go cheap? That's too hard to control.
moment and it just kind of falls flat because it's so hard and it's so different than the other kind of singing that the, that the dong has to do. I thought a lot of that was, was showing a lot of incorporating of what we talked about yesterday. Did you, did you feel I like that? I went home and worked on a lot of what we talked about yesterday. Fantastic. Yeah. So, so talk to me about what was working the best for you about that. Um, narrowing the, the front on darker balls like O oh, and mm -hmm. and ah even. Mm -hmm. um, and just attaching that to that parachute behind the bow front wing. Um, yeah. We talked about not getting not getting stuck in the boxiness of the front yeah. of the bow. Yeah. Um, so I was thinking a lot about that and cleaning up portamenti, <laughs> that <laughs> accidental portamenti. Yeah, that's a thing. Accidental portamento. Um, but yeah, it's it's deceptively hard. <laughs> yeah, because you want it to be as clean as possible. But it also has to have, you know, heart and soul and all of that, so that it's, it's tricky. And folksiness. And, and folks, yeah. and all the things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. I think the next step for this is to is for the breath to be a lot more active. So I feel like it's still a little bit, you know. Yeah, you know, and there are pieces like this where you have nothing under you. You know, Karanome comes to mind, and you know, for me, some of these other pieces where it feels like you have to just kind of. But the, the way to get out of that is to really embrace, you know, Akishfiru's a total um, aria like that. Where you Get so like bound up, or you can really go with the, you know, because I can start that. I can go, or you can sing, and like really do it. So I think that's where you can use, you can give your breath to be a little more active in terms to help you with all that other stuff so you don't have to micromanage all of that. Yeah. So some of that would happen more, more organically if your breath was a little bit bigger. So, so let's start it one more time. I feel so 
still cheated on that Allah. 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 It's going Allah. And it's going that way Wait. behind you. Okay. <laughs> challenge you to like don't move take a spot you're gonna look at it and you're singing right to that person and, and it's just your voice and that person <laughs> Seeing that there, this conductor, this director I was working with there, he said, um, he 
he started yelling at me in one of the rehearsals because he wanted it to just be so much more just <laughs> like the whole cigarette laughter thing. Like this doesn't work on me. It's just, and some people can do that until they're blown in the face, but that just if I do that fake, <laughs> just it's so stupid on me. And it's not. I don't think it's necessary in Mozart anyway. I don't, I don't think Mozart needs to be a cartoon. Um, anyway, he was he was yelling at me that I wasn't I wasn't perky enough. I wasn't doing the fakey thing enough. And, he yelled at me at a rehearsal and said, you'll never be a good Despina. And the conductor, who was Thomas Fulton, who was at the Met at the time, got up and walked out of the rehearsal. <laughs> and Monday, I'm at my lesson at Miss Falls in New York, and, and Michael Eisen, who was then the head of the department at Curtis, calls over there and says, tell her to, he was before cell phones, he called her, her apartment and he told me, to, he wanted me to come to his apartment when my lesson was over. And I thought, I'm gonna be kicked out of this production. <laughs> it's, gonna be, it's gonna be terrible. But, I went over there and he said, I just spent the weekend convincing Tom to stay with this production because he was so angry about how you had been treated by, you know, I won't name the director. Um, and he said, you have to go to that director and ask for an apology. And I was so shy back then, I mean, painfully shy back then. It was really hard for me to do that. But I did, I wanted to ask for his apology and he, he was kind of not, really didn't take it that well. Anyway, a couple of years, fast forward a few years, one of my first professional things was a Despina, as it turned out, and I got a review that said I was the highlight of the evening, so I made a copy of that and I mailed it to the director. <laughs> <laughs> I did, and then he, he wrote back this big letter about how, you know, the work of people like Don Upshaw is convincing him that maybe he doesn't, we don't need all that artifice, and I thought, okay, good, but, um, all this is to say that if you sing this in a, uh, this presentation, presentational, like I am the bear hunk kind of way, it's not gonna touch as many people or have the layers that you could have. If you let it really breathe, it takes really good breath to make something truly beautiful. Because if I'm trying to go, oh, that's never gonna work. I'm gonna be able to make what I want. So every single breath, let's start it one more time, every single breath, take time, if you need extra time to be, do the big breath we were talking about yesterday, take it, Shannon will be on. For right now, if you take more, more than is, is real, that's fine. Do you see what happens in the room when I just made an actual O? Oh. 
that feel like for you? Um, it was a lot of just trusting where, it, like letting it turn over where it needed. Yeah, it yeah, it started really turning over, which is, and yeah. then that creaminess got into the sound, which was really cool. Can you just do your last line or two? It's that, it's know. the octave at the end. Yeah. yeah. On O? Or yeah, okay. go on O. As you come down in your voice, sometimes we have to gather a little bit more. stuck in the box, the high notes are turning over much more beautifully, mm -hmm. and you can choose how much or how little you want to do with that, but I, I like it, I think it's beautiful, but it's safer, and it's, and it's a more beautiful sound than being kind of at, you know, at us, on, especially on those, on those O vowels. But I think if you worked on this on O for a while, that would really help you, because you could really feel where you're, yeah. where you need to do more or less. Good, great to work with you. and I will be singing La Mer by Nadia Boulanger.
sounding? Yeah, you good. feel good? Yeah, I felt like so, this was doing better than this was too. <laughs> I would agree with that. Yeah. I wish you'd be a little more proactive mm -hmm, mm -hmm. more so with the, with the breath. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's not you. Looked over, I saw Danny, we're not doing that. Nope. Um, okay. <laughs> not bad. So, I think sometimes in French people get this idea that they have to just kind of like <laughs> with it, you know? And, and not sort of bow as you come onto the line, but I think, so I think if you bow it a little bit more at the beginning mm -hmm. with some mm -hmm. of these phrases, that would give you somewhere to you know, keep going. Mm -hmm. the, the, the moving walkway would be moving already, yeah. so you're not trying to get started yeah. halfway through the line. Um, good, let's see if we can get a little more, a little more breath going through the, all of this. Mm -hmm. um, I also want to work with those schwas a little bit. Some of them are really great, some others got a little bit loose. Okay. We're talking about not really, um, <laughs> doing. So if you're, if you're singing in ever, you're, oh, I'm thinking about, oh wait, la, la, it's not going to do it. La, la, la. I'm full on singing, oh wait. Mm -hmm. I, I, I would try that. Yeah, okay. okay. Stopping on the first note, so it's a little bit. Mm. 
doesn't have no way to do anything except to make a new sound. Okay. So you want to think that it's it's all one thing yep. still. So and this is true in Italian too. How you keep those other things from becoming like finestra. If you're not going finestra, mm -hmm. but if you stop on fina, you're going to get stuck, and the yeah. straws going to just come yeah. out of us. Mm -hmm. So if you're going, you have no place to go but there. I just put the L on in the middle of that, and but I'm still it's just like one note. Can we try that? Mm -hmm. Let's try it on bellows. <laughs> loud American when I'm over in Europe because I'm not very loud but but compared to those people I am because we get so you know yeah. when you go to England forget about it you know I'm ever so delighted that you're here <laughs> how can you tell I don't like it. but you know this you, it's not a style thing to get yeah know, excited yep. plus it also says what gravely yep so maybe that's not so excited La mer sur qui prie. Oh, yes, I don't know. I know. La mer sur qui prie. La mer sur qui prie. That was beautiful on La mer, though. Do you feel that? Yeah. All of those are locked. It's an easy thing about French. French can be hard sometimes, but one of the easiest things is. All the vowels are long. You don't have to worry about short, long, or, any, or stress, or any of that. And the only time you get to stress anything is when you have a little bit of a, of a, um, a tenuto. Yeah. It's on key, not sheer. Anyway. Mm -hmm. so, here we go. La mer sur qui prie. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry to belabor this a little, but I think, I mean, you're coming over the E, over the E, I think, I think it's falling out, and that's why the sheer. Ah, thing. okay. So that's an up before you go down uh -huh. situation. Uh -huh. That's a tie note, right? Miss Chanella, my teacher at Florida State, is sitting here going, sing the tie note. <laughs> so if you don't sing that, I was saying that to, to um, Evan when we go too. So if you're going, la 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 we get that. Yeah. La 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 super calm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. La la la
I'm fighting to do it because I want to go. It wants to go, Mommy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to do that too. But I will never be hurt if I do that. And and you will. You can sing as softly as you want. Remember we were talking yesterday yeah. about about Carmina and mm -hmm. Tina. You can go super soft if you if if it's the air is moving, it's going that way. Because I don't have to go, Mari or Mari, Mari. Still picking it up. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. La Vierge Marie. That's so beautiful. Good job. Keep going. So um, as you're getting more comfy with it, the tenudos and, and things where they are, mm -hmm. like, you know, just make sure you're really intentional about yeah. that. Because mm -hmm. they can really help you to not get stuck. Yeah. I love when I see tenudos in French because then it like, gives me something to hang on to. So yeah. I'm having me to, you know. So you're singing that there. It tells you to do something. Yeah. Like that too. Yep. So you don't want to be going longtemps, longtemps. It's an ah uh, vowel with a little bit of nasal. And really, that first one is high enough that I don't even care if you have any nasal on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Longtemps. And then, what's the, after that you were saying something C'est pardon, grondé. C'est pardon, pardon. C'est pardon. Thank you. Yeah, not pardon. Mm -hmm. Pardon. And then, grondé, c'est couru. Yep. Okay. Here we go. You can have a little you can have a little bit on the second valve if you want, okay. just to see. If it goes too crazy, we'll, we'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. Do you guys hear how that, that fixed a whole lot of stuff that happened after that too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when you pull down on your nasals, you know, that's that's not so helpful. Like it, yeah. and you don't even need it. Uh, on or above the staff, just take it out. But the you know, first thing I do when I learn something in French is I go through and I find all the nasals and I make sure that I have the right right base vowel there. And then I practice it with no nasal at all mm -hmm. anywhere in these places. So I really know what that vowel is. And then when I'm real, got the line all together with, the, with that actual vowel, sprinkle a little nasal at the very top of the note so it's not, uh, not taking over the whole thing and pulling down your palate. And if you do that, your nasals will be better, which is great. Your palate stays up, which is great. Yeah. And that mm -hmm. fixes everything around it, which is also great. That was great. Let's keep going uh, after that. Don't make you sing that high note again. That, that, that landed the high note for you really well, Josh. That was great. Center. I'll do that far. So if you're running out of breath in a line, this is one of my favorite things to tell my students. If there's any line where you're running out of breath, look for a closed vowel that you're not closing enough because you are literally leaking air out of the side of your voice mm -hmm. when you do that. So if I'm going, It's better French and it's way easier to say. Yeah. So I, I love French. Once you've done all the work, it lines up your voice for you. I don't even know this song, but if I'm singing the right vowels, it's going to work. Um, great. Let's let's do that again.
inflammation. Yep. That's Strong. almost an O nasal. You feel what I'm saying? Uh huh. So, so be careful with yeah. your O nasals and your O nasals. They need to be different. And you know, a lot of my students want to do just a generic O nasal for all the nasals. So just be careful yeah. there. That was way better on that high note. Okay. All those vowels were better. Yeah, that felt good. Mem, can we go with mem? I don't know if you sing that. Mm -hmm. ways to practice your pieces in French. I'm sure you all coach with Shannon, so you know about the line. He's like, me, call me, chant. You know how to do that. Another way is to go individual notes. Me, 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 call, me, 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 chant. See how I'm doing that? I'm making, you know, really big thing each one individually so that it's not corrupted by the thing before it. And then last ditch effort, you could do this. Oh, it's spreading or doing something funky. Right, so combination. So we're really singing exactly the right vowels there. And then. Taller in the front, so I'm thinking uh, suta, not a, uh, which is a different vowel, you know, 
for me, that, that thinking about that angle differently helps me to keep it. But I also love that that's an OE vowel. That's a great vowel to sing. Uh -huh. So just a little bit of nasal. So you're not kind of trying to go, ah, so uh -huh. ah, so I'm making up notes, but am I? Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> ah, so. so you have to start with that OE. Just a little bit of nasal. Okay. Here we go. something that's funky there. Ante, ante la vague, is that right? Uh, yeah, ante yeah, I feel like you're saying ante or something. Okay. Right? Can we start right there on ante, le, ante la vague? Ante la vague
Good, finish it out without me, because this is your show. You got it. out there where, where people are just you know making the legato line in French by just painting a big brush over it. So if you're gonna go that's not good French. That's band-aid French. So you know be careful about that. Band-aid legato, you don't want to do that. Real legato is really digging into these vowels. You guys hearing that? Because I'm seeing that with band-aid legato. Change the whole line if you, if you yeah. get that really lined up. That's beautiful. I'm going to steal this piece. I want to see what it's about. <laughs> Coming soon to a recital near you. <laughs> Fantastic workshop. Thank, Thank you. you so much. That's a great question. I mean, one way to do that is just go ahead and move in, in your practice. Not all the time, but sometimes. You know, I, years ago when I first learned katanome, you know, that's your state. You're, it, it can really feel like you are stuck, but if you go crazy with moving, it's going to be a hot mess, technically. But I ended up singing it once for a, a group of high school kids at, at, a, at a camp where I used to work. And, and I sang it for them, and I was thinking that they were going to think it was boring if I just stood there and sang it the way I normally did. So, so I went kind of crazy and was just kind of like, you know, teenage girl in her bedroom, and I was doing all over the piano. And I've never sung it better in my life before that because I, I just got off that train, and then I figured out, oh, I can be all of that, but it just I have to just keep the body a little bit, a little bit more steady. But it, but the air has to be in motion, and so it. Can do whatever you have to do to get the air to move, but then you know when you go to stand still, everything isn't still. It's the air that you know. We are working on that a lot with Evan. That that air makes that. If you're working on Pamina, you you can get so stuck, but if you let it be, you really spend air on it, and maybe you need to move to find that in, in, in the in the beginning. But then then you feel what the air feels like, and you don't need to move anymore. It's sort of like training wheels on a bike, right? You use the training wheels to to get the feeling going and then soon you don't need that anymore because now you have the feeling without that. So I think the breath is the answer to a lot of questions and it's definitely the answer to that one, I think. Awesome. Anything else? I'm so glad you guys are here. It's so nice to see this beautiful scenery. So lucky. Yay! Yay. Thank you so much.